Anastasia Chatska. I'm a fashion designer, pattern maker, and sewing educator. And I'm so happy you're here sewing along with me today. Welcome to Sewing Anastasia, and today we are going to upcycle a t-shirt and give it a whole new look. Probably wondering, what are we gonna do to a t-shirt? Well, we are gonna add some fabulous sheer puff sleeves to an existing t-shirt. So it's time to remake all the t-shirts in your wardrobe and give them a new style. If you're not already a subscriber to Sewing Anastasia, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell because I put out new sewing videos every single week, multiple times a week. So much sewing content. And if you're already a subscriber, thank you so much for following along. And don't forget, I now teach sewing classes in my design studio in Chicago, Illinois. And you can also join them virtually as well. Supplies for creating this baby doll puff sleeve t-shirt is super simple. You're going to need some organza. I've got 18 inches wide by two yards. You're going to need some matching thread. You're also gonna need some chalk. You're going to need your scissors. And you're also gonna need some elastic for the bottom of the sleeve, plus your ruler so you can measure it out. And you're going to need a t-shirt to transform. I'm going to be using this tank girl shirt today. Also, you don't have to use organza fabric for the sleeves, but I love using organza because it's light and it's crisp and it's gonna look really great in a gathered puff sleeve. But you could use another t-shirt fabric, you could use a brocade, you could use a sequin fabric, you could use just about any fabric for this project. The first thing we need to do is cut off the sleeves on our existing t-shirt. So grab your scissors and let's cut off that sleeve. So you need to cut right where that existing seam is for the sleeve or cut a little beyond it so that way you don't get any of that stitching that's gonna be inside keeping that sleeve together. You also might wanna measure the shoulder of your sleeve and measure yourself as well because sometimes these t-shirts, especially band t-shirt, tends to have a really long shoulder because it was meant for a dude. So we're just going to cut into it and then I'm gonna cut one layer at a time working my way all the way around the sleeve. I'm gonna flip it over and do the same thing for the back. There we go. Now we are missing our sleeve, which is exactly what we want. Now we're gonna do the exact same thing to the other side. Now that you have your sleeves cut off, it should look something like this. Next, what we need to do is grab our fabric for the sleeves and measure it out. So grab your fabric and let's go over measuring it out. I have my fabric laid out here. I have it layered on top of itself and it is 18 inches in length and it is 36 inches wide. So all I need to do is cut up the side and then I'll have two sleeves. So you might be wondering why these dimensions. So we have the 18 inches in length, which is gonna come down our arm, but when we gather and puff it up, it's gonna get way smaller. So you can choose to make a smaller puff sleeve or you can choose to make a bigger length and puff sleeve, depending on what you want. And then the width of it here, the 36 inches, is gonna be how much it gets gathered up going around the circumference of the arm. So you could make this smaller or you could make this way bigger for an ultimate puff sleeve but I'm doing one that's about medium in puff. Now I'm going to cut up the side so I end up with two sleeves. Now that I have two sleeves, it is time to finish the edges. I'm going to be serging them, but you could overcast them, you could zigzag them, you could overlock them. You have so many options for finishing your edges. So go finish your edges and I'll meet you back right here. Now we have the edges finished on both of our sheer silk organza sleeves, and now it's time to gather up those really long edges on both sides. So you could use the gathering foot for this, you could use the zigzag gathering method, you could use the basting gathering method, or maybe you have your own gathering method as well. I'm going to be using the gathering foot to gather up these really long edges on the sleeves. So I'm gonna be gathering up this long edge here, and then this long edge up here. And then after that, we'll put the elastic on for the bottom of the sleeve. So let's head over to the sewing machine. I have my gathering foot on and I have my stitch length to five and my tension to 9.8. And now all we need to do is feed the fabric through the machine. I just love this foot. So let's go. Look at all those beautiful gathers happening. This is so exciting.
When you get to the end, just back stitch and cut. This is looking beautiful. Now let's sew up the remaining three sides with the gathering foot. Now that you have your sleeve gathered up, it should look something like this. So you should have your two straight ends with no gathers, and then you have your two ends with the gathers in them. Now we are ready to attach the elastic for the bottom of the sleeve. So now we need to measure our elastic for our arm. So wrap your elastic around your arm, and then make sure you have at least an inch short to the circumference of your arm because you want the elastic to be tight on your arm so that way it holds the sleeve up in place. I know, you're like, why am I making this shorter than my arm, right? Not longer. Well, it's because it's elastic and it stretches. So make sure you make it at least an inch smaller than the circumference of your arm. Now that you've got your elastic cut, it's time to sew these two pieces of elastic, one to each sleeve, for the bottom opening of the sleeve. So you can see I've got my sleeve here and it's bigger than my elastic. So what we're gonna do is start at one end and we're gonna pull it all the way over to the other end and we are gonna zigzag this on and then when we're done, it'll scrunch up to the perfect length. So we're gonna end up sewing the elastic right where the gather is here for the bottom of the sleeve and we're gonna stretch the elastic as long as the fabric is all gathered up here. And we already have this permanent gather in here, which is great. So we are gonna leave that and just stretch the elastic over it. So we're gonna start at one end, stretching it, and we're gonna zigzag on this elastic, and I'm gonna leave this little gathered edge showing, so I wanna make sure that my elastic is about a half inch down from the very edge of my fabric. So we're gonna stretch this elastic out and sew this gather that's already there flat to the elastic. And that's gonna make it all scrunch back up together and be the perfect bottom opening for the sleeve. Let's head over to the sewing machine and sew that elastic on. So I have my B foot on, I have my zigzag stitch selected, and I have my elastic right in the middle of my B foot. So my zigzag stitch is gonna sew right onto the elastic here. So we're just going to be pulling this elastic while we sew it all the way down the sleeve. Let's get these little threads out of the way here. When you start the elastic, uh, you wanna grab some of these threads in the back here, so that way you can pull it to the back. Because it is elastic and you're stretching it forward, you do need to pull it to the back a little bit. You don't wanna pull it too much, otherwise you could break a needle, but you wanna give a pull to the back so that way it evenly feeds into the machine. When you get to the end, back stitch and cut. See, look, now the bottom of our sleeve stretches. So let's do the same thing to the other one. Now that we have this beautiful elastic sewn on the bottom of the sleeve, it's time to turn our sleeve right side together. And we are going to sew up the underarm on the sleeve at about half inch or three eighths, whatever you choose. I'm gonna leave my B foot on and I've put on the straight stitch and I'm just gonna work my way all the way down that seam. Don't forget to back stitch. Keep your edges nice and lined up. Back stitch when you get to the end and cut. Now that you have it sewn up, it should look something like this. And go ahead and do the same thing to your other sleeve. Now that we have our sleeves all prepped, we are ready to attach them to the t-shirt. Now that we have our shirt turned inside out, we are going to take our sleeve and with it right side out, we're gonna put it inside of the shirt and make sure the edge that doesn't have the elastic is at the armhole here. And now what we need to do is pin this gathered edge to the armhole of our shirt. Now you might need to smooth out the gathers a little bit or move them around, make sure they're exactly where you want them and that they're fitting into the armhole. And now we're going to pin these two layers together. 
And don't forget to line up the underarm seam on the t-shirt with the underarm sleeve on the new sleeve that you created. So let's pin that underarm first and now let's work our way all the way around the armhole. Once you have it all pinned up, it should look something like that. Now we're ready to sew it up. We're going to use the B foot and we're going to use a regular stitch length of 2.5 with a straight stitch. I'm going to be sewing up the sleeve with a half inch seam allowance and I'm going to be starting at my underarm seam. Don't forget to back stitch when you start and end on this project. Make sure you take out your pins as you get to them. And if you need to move around your gathers at all while you're sewing, you can also do that. Now that we have one sleeve attached, it's time to attach the other sleeve and then try it on. That's the exciting part. So do the exact same thing that we just did to this side to your other sleeve and then we're done. Check it out. We now have super fun sheer puff sleeves on this t-shirt. I love it. And I love that they're sheer because they're really big and dramatic, but they're not in a solid color. So I don't feel like they're overtaking me, but yet, there's a lot of volume and a lot of drama, so I love it. So you can also take the sleeve and pull it down because I made them longer, so you could totally have a different look, or you can take them and pull them all the way up and also get another different look as well. So these ones were 18 inches long, so if you want a shorter one, remember all you need to do is make your rectangle shorter, and then you have these super fun puff sleeves. So let's go over what we did. We cut off that existing sleeve. We cut a big rectangle out of some silk organza. We finished our edges and then we added some elastic to the bottom and then we gathered up everything around the armhole and sewed it in. And then we ended up with this fabulous sleeve. Thanks so much for watching Sew Anastasia today. I hope you enjoyed upcycling a t-shirt, adding some puff sleeves to it to make it super cool and updated and fashionable. If you have any questions about this process, leave it down below in the comments and I will get back with you as soon as possible. And I would love to hear your ideas for upcycling t-shirts and making them extra fun. Leave that down below in the comments as well. And if you're not already a subscriber, make sure you subscribe to Sew Anastasia and hit that notification bell because new videos come out every single week, twice a week. So much sewing content. Also, make sure you give this video a thumbs up, give it some applause, and share it with your friends and family if you loved this video. And don't forget to add me on Instagram and Facebook and Twitter and TikTok and all those social media accounts so that way we can stay connected and creative together. And I would love to see your projects, so make sure you tag me in them and that way I can share them with everyone else. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.